What is going on guys? Jack here and today I've got for you guys an East Side Hockey Manager early access tutorial on how to get the correct rosters in your game. So if you've downloaded this game recently off Steam, I recommend it if you haven't already, you'll be aware that the rosters in game are not correct. This is because none of the teams or leagues are licensed by Sports Interactive in this iteration of the game. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can get it so you'll have players like Sidney Crosby in your team, You'll have players like Malkin, and uh, you kind of get the idea, don't you? I'm not going to be covering the graphic elements, such as the logos that you can see here in the face pack. If that's something you'd like to see, maybe in a separate video, let me know down in the comments. But today, we're going to be focusing on how to get the actual players into your game. So to begin with, I'm just going to quit the game, and uh, there's two links you're going to have in the description of this video to check out. The first one is here to the blue line, and I recommend that if you're not already subscribed and signed up on this forum, you do that. So go onto this forum, create an account if you haven't. I believe that this download might be behind a sign-up wall. It takes two seconds to sign up if it is. If it isn't, well, lucky you. But on this web page, you'll see here that you have the uh, kind of post talking about the TBL rosters version 7.3. And as you can see here, it says NHL early access. Anyway, it has a little bit of a change, change list here, but if you come to the bottom, there is a download link. What you do, click this link, and as you can see here, it takes you to a Microsoft OneDrive download page. Here's the file, you just right click, hit download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it. This file is a zip folder, so just one little thing. Uh, there's a second link here. If you don't have WinRAR or another ex uh, archiving program to extract files that are kind of zipped up, Go to this web page, really simple. You're going to go to where it says English and then either 32 bit or 64 bit, depending on your machine. Click it, download it, install it. It's it's literally the simplest program you'll ever have to install. So you can see here, you just click this, you you won't run WinRAR, install, and it's 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 done. That, there, there, we're done. And it's on my PC. Anyway, once you've done that. You'll have the second file that you downloaded from the forum. You're going to right click on it and then you're going to hit extract to. If you click on this, it's going to unzip it. So you'll now have a folder that goes by the same name. And within this, there'll be a readme with some written instructions for if you're struggling from this point onwards. But the folder that we're interested in is this one that says TBL rosters v7.3. So within this folder, there are five files. Don't worry about these at all. All you need to do is make sure you hit copy. From this, what we're now going to do is we're going to go into Steam. So, of course, Steam is the platform for which you buy Eastside Hockey Manager on. So once you're here, you'll go to the Library tab at the top. Yours might look a little bit different. You're then going to go to where it says Eastside Hockey Manager. Right-click, Properties. You're then going to go to the third tab along on the Properties area. So, Local Files. And then go to Browse Local Files. So, just to recap, right-click, Properties, bottom option, then local files, browse local files. You'll then find this kind of folder that you can see here. It's computer, storage, Steam, Steam apps, common, East Hyde Side Hockey Manager. Now within this, you're going to go to the data folder and then database. So East Side Hockey, data, database. And then within here, you just paste in the folder. So I actually already have the folder, so I'm not going to do it. But once you've pasted it in, there'll be your TBL rosters, the 7.3 folder in your database folder, and then the files that I showed you before. And once you've done that, you are sorted. The last step is just whenever you launch your game and go to set up a new game to select this custom database you've just installed at startup. So new career game, then from this drop down menu where it says database upon starting a new game, you'll just set select TBL rosters 7.3. Once you do this, any game that you set up will have the updated rosters. Uh, I believe this one features rosters updated for all the leagues which are playable in the Eastside Hockey Manager Early Access game. So yeah, it's a pretty awesome download. One of the must-haves with this Early Access game. Hopefully this tutorial helped. If you have any issues, please do leave them down in the comments. I'll try and help you guys, or if someone else gets through it, I'm sure that they'll explain everything and kind of talk you through it. As I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to see a guide on face packs and logo packs, let me know down in the comments too. I'm going to try and include some written instructions down in the description to help you guys who might be struggling to follow along uh, with the video. But yeah, hopefully this helped. If it did, please do smash the like button. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. It is me, Jack, and I'm out.